Dear students, I am Dr. Kiran Deshwal, Assistant Professor English. In this video lecture, I will teach you the essay Getting Up on Call Mornings composed by Lehant. In this essay, we know that the winter season has started and it is not easy to get up in a call morning. So, in this essay, we can feel the pain of living the cozy and comfortable uh, bedding. At the beginning, he gives an anecdote regarding cold. An Italian author, Giulio Cordara, a juicy Jesuit, has written a poem upon insects which he begins by insisting that those troublesome and abominable little animals were created for our annoyance. So, this Italian writer wrote a poem in which he describes about little insects and he says that, that these insects doesn't do any work. They are just created for our annoyance. And that they were certainly not inhabitants of paradise. So, we of the north may dispute this piece of theology. We of the north means we Englishmen, we people who live in North Pole, who live in uh, England or North Europe, may dispute this piece of theology. But on the other hand, it is clear as the snow on the housetops theology means it is written in religious books so but on the other hand it is clear as the snow on the housetops it is clear as there is snow on the roofs of the houses that adam was not under the necessity of saving because in paradise you need not to save and that when eve walked out of her delicious bower, she did not step upon ice three inches thick. Because uh, they were superhuman beings, they didn't have to do the things which we human beings do. So, she did not have to step upon ice three inches thick as we have to do. Some people say it is a very easy thing to get up of a cold morning. Some people who are early risers who can say that it is very easy to get up in a cold morning. What's uh, tough? What, what's difficult in this? You have only, they tell you to take the resolution. The first thing which you have to do, just take the resolution that doesn't matter how, how much call there will be. I will get up at 5 or 6. So first of all, you have to make a resolution and the thing is done you can do what you want to this may be very true the author says that this may be true just as a boy at school has only to take a flogging and the thing is over so it is very easy <coughs> if your spirit is flamboyant you just have to tell yourself that i will get up early tomorrow and you can do that this may be very true just as a boy at school has only to take a flogging and the thing is over but we have not at all made up our minds upon it. But first of all, we have to resolute. We have to make our mind. Without making our mind, we, will, we uh, won't be able to do this thing. And we find it a very pleasant exercise to discuss the matter candidly before we get up. This at least is not idling, though it may be lying. So, if you are lying in a cold morning, you can't say that idling. It is just lying. It affords an excellent answer to those who ask how lying in bed can be indulged in by a reasoning being. How can you uh, define, how can you uh, verify, how can you uh, defend yourself lying in bed? A rational creature, as a rational creature, how? Why with the argument calmly at work in one's hand and the clothes over one's soldier? Oh, it is a fine way of spending a sensible impartial half an hour. You can uh, spend your time in thinking. 
if these people would be more charitable they would get on with the argument better but they are apt to reason so ill and to assert so dogmatically that one could wish to have them stand round one's bed of a bitter morning so the writer is saying that if these people would be more charitable they would get on with their argument better if you are clever in answering you can argue in a better way you can give the reason behind getting up late why it is useful what is the uh, use what is the benefit of getting up late in cold mornings but they are apt to reason so ill and to assert so dogmatically but they are apt to reason so ill if you give a reason your reasons would be valid and your assertions would be dogmatic that one could wish to have them stand round one's bed of a bitter morning and lie before their faces they ought to hear both sides of the bed first of all you should look at the both sides and inside and out if they cannot entertain themselves with their own thoughts for half an hour or so if you can entertain yourself with your thoughts it is easy to keep lying if you can't you should get up it is not the fault of those who can it is the fault of those who can't if their will is never pulled aside by the enticing arms of imagination if their will is never pulled aside your will can be pulled aside by the enticing arms of imagination you have to imagine so much the luckier for the stage coachman candid inquiries into one's decumbency besides the greater or less privileges to be allowed a man in proportion to his ability of keeping early hours how you can get up early so candid inquiries in this way you can make fresh inquiries you can make clever inquiries uh into one stickumbency besides the greater or less privilege to be allowed a man in proportion to his ability of keeping early hours the work given his faculties etc you can keep your mind busy you can keep yourself busy while imagining things will at least concede their due merits to such representations says the following in the first place says the injured but calm appealer i have been warm all night and find my system in a state perfectly suitable to warm blooded animal to get out of this state in the cold besides the inharmonious and uncritical abruptness of the transition it's so unnatural to such a creature that the poets refining upon the tortures of the damned make one of the greatest agonies consist in being suddenly transported from heat to cold from fire to ice very beautiful comparison here let us see the author wants to say that first of all he gives a reason and then he says that we should inquire candidly very frankly into one's decumbency besides the greater or less privileges to be allowed a man in proportion to his ability of keeping keeping early hours so if you get up early you should have an ability uh, the work given his faculties etc you should allow your imagination to run will, will at least concede their due merits to such representations as the following in the first place he, he the writer says that in the first place says the injured but calm appealer the appealer who appeals that it is good to keep lying so the first appeal of the appealer of the person who wants to keep lying says the injured but so he calls him injured but he is calm appealer injured because he will be blamed for lying for getting up so late i have been warm all night first appeal first reason he would he would say that i have been warm all night all night i'm lying in this uh, bed and uh, for the whole night i have been warm all night and find my system in a state perfectly suitable to a warm blooded animal that's why i can't get up early to get out of this state into cold and uh, there is very cold outside and to get out of this state which is that i mean i am in a very warm state very warm condition and into the call besides the inharmonious and uncritical abruptness of the transition it's so unnatural to such a creature that this will be very unnatural for me to get 
out from this firmness to come out from this coziness that the poets refining upon the tortures of the damned make one of their greatest agony is consist in being suddenly transported from heat to cold so i am in a very warm condition I'm, my, my bed is very warm i am feeling very warm and if i come out it will be like poetry it would be like uh, transported from heat to cold i am in heat and i will be transported into cold if i get out from my bed so first appeal would be this that i am in heat and while getting up i will be in cold from fire to ice and it would be like throwing someone from fire to ice so this is the first reason they are held out of their beds says milton by harpy footed furies so here the writer compares his situation with the situation of uh, the angels who were uh, transported from fire to ice ice to fire fellows who come to call them on my first movement towards the anticipation of getting up i find that such parts of the seats and bolster as are exposed to the air of the room are stone cold so first of all he is afraid of cold he says that when i make up my mind that i have to get up when i uh, feel around my bed the seats and the bolster of my bed they, which are exposed to the air of the room are stone cold that's why i can't get up that's why it is not easy for me to get up so students we will start from here tomorrow and i hope you have understood this and we will be continue in our next video thanks for watching